I would like to bring on Mar Mariam. Mariam is a survivor of the Egypt 2011 uh, um, revolution. Um, she's going to share with you what happened. And today she's serving YWAM in uh, the US and she goes to Africa and she does evangelism there. I, I like her to share. And then we'll come back to two young people who's going to tell us what uh, makes them jive about um, you know, youth ministry. Mariam, can I find you and can you unmute yourself, please? I'm going to spotlight you. Okay, hello okay. everyone. Yeah. It's so good to, he to be here. Um, I'm going to share my, um, my testimony about how we survived from uh, ISIS. So uh, during the revolution time, um, 2011, um, me and my mom were at the house and suddenly out of nowhere, 3,000 ISIS with guns and stones, they start to attack us out of nowhere. And um, so it just started like we have a villa and around the villa there is walls. So they start to knock at the door. So my mom went to open, she saw something, somebody else. As she opened the door, she heard the, what they are saying before they start to kill Allahu Akbar. And she felt hand behind her back start to push her. So she closed the door and get inside the inside gate in the house. As she was running, she came and closed the door. And then the shooting start and the throwing the stones start from 3000 ISIS. And she got a nervous breakdown. And as we are, she wa was waiting to be killed. I hugged her. And as I was hugging her, something happened that my eyes start to not see the gates or the door or the house. I start to see that I am inside a tower. So um, I always know known the, the verse in the Proverbs uh, 1810 that says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. But I never could imagine that it's actual real tower. I saw myself inside in the bottom of this tower, me and my mom. And as I lift my eyes to see the end of that tower, I didn't see end. There is no limit. I was in the bottom of it, me and my mom. And, and around the, the walls of the tower, I saw Jesus' name written all over. And as I was looking outside to the walls, I saw, I didn't see walls around our house, our garden. I saw angels all around giving their back to us and their face to the crowd outside. And at this moment, I told my mom, no one can reach us. We are in the safest place ever in the entire world. And really, at this moment, if you can imagine the voices of the gun shoot and the, the, the people that shouting Allahu Akbar to come and kill us as they did in the neighborhood. They raped women, they burned houses, they did horrible things to our neighborhood, except our house. We were protected and even the walls of our house around the garden, it's so, it's like three meters. Sometimes when I forget the key, I just, you know, jump. The Lord blinded their eyes even to jump, to climb the walls and, and attack us. And after they left, I found the, the, the gate, the gate lock, the, the lock for the door melted. And they didn't even think about pushing it. So they melted the lock, but they didn't, it didn't work. It was supernatural. So... It was good. <laughs> it was so good. So 
Yeah, so I realized, I experienced when the Lord says that he is a strong tower. It's the actual strong tower in the spiritual world. It's not just a verse. It's not just um, a good um, scripture. No, it's, it's a real actual tower and we are hidden. And if we are hidden in that tower, we are at the safest place ever in the entire world. No one can touch us in the um, spiritual realm is real is real and so we survived <laughs> now uh, norma asked me to share this story with you so whenever you read the bible just when he say that his his word is, is like a sword it's a real actual sword in the face of the enemy if he says like his eyes is fire burning fire it's fire in the eyes of the enemy so that was my experience. I joined YWAM um, after I'm done from my college. Um, I joined them and I started to um, travel into Africa and Middle East. As, as you know, that Middle, Middle East um, majority are um, uh, Muslims. So this is where my heart, Middle East and Africa. My heart is for the poor, isolated, rejected, uh, orphans, um, youth who have no hope, anyone have no hope, that's my heart. I love to go there and I believe that the body of Christ is not a church and right now Jesus is moving in the streets, in the streets. You will find Jesus, Yeshua in the streets. So that's my heart. And I've been traveling with YWAM for 13 years in Africa and Middle East. That's where my heart. Um, and last year I've been working um, in Egypt for five years. I was working and part-time mission. Last year, the Lord told me to quit my job and move to the States. And that's what I did. Was hard, <laughs> was hard, but I didn't know that the Lord is gonna open a new door and um, and he opened a door there because my heart is still for Arab, which majority are Muslims. So the refugees that goes there, Syrian or from wherever, I start to reach them. And then my uh, my YWAM college they asked me to um, start a new ministry there. Um, so I can, because we, they don't have, um, a ministry for the refugees Arab in YWAM Nashville, Tennessee. So they encourage me right now. I'm in Egypt in a visit because it's a part of my spiritual inheritance. So I need to come, but I will be back starting this new, um, ministry, which is with Arab refugees and, and homeless and yes and homosexual that's all part of my calling so i would love to um encourage you if you have people young people that have this love for christ send them we love to train them we love to take them out to love people to lavish people with love and show them the love of god and i'm i'm ready to to just Tell them whatever they need to how to reach to this refugees or the Arab community because they completely lost even the Christian that lives there in the States they are completely lost they don't know anything they feel homesick they feel lost they they have they completely gone and of course sometimes the, the good of them they go to church but not a real relationship it's just um religion and and you can see it's a, a big disaster as well so yeah i encourage you to send people um to ywam nashville so we can train them and send them we need people to go in the streets and and to hug and to love and to reach 
and show Jesus, show the love of Yahshua for everyone. Um, yeah, so um, when I get back to the state, the end of this month, I will be starting this new ministry. I don't know how to start, but I trust the one who calls, he going to provide everything and provide with financial, with people, with everything. So um, I'm so excited and yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm done, Norma, if you have any questions. Thank, thank you, Mariam. See, I told you guys that, you know, she's, she's my classmate in Haggai and that when she said... Oh, yeah and yeah she she is and when she and we both studied under Pauline and that when Mariam was sharing this story with us at Haggai all of us you could have heard you know a pin drop in the class you know it was just so stunning and and she's very beautiful you know she is even more beautiful than that that picture because the the love of Jesus just shines through Mariam you know and and if you ever visit her Facebook page and you look for her, you see how much she's loved. All her friends love her. And, and she's a very, very loved person by God's grace. I didn't know she was in Egypt. I was going to say it's 7 a.m. and she's up. Yeah. But she's in Egypt. 